born on February 29, 1956, in Rochester, Michigan. Eileen Warnos was sexually abused and thrown out of her home as a teen. Having been involved in previous incidents with the law, she made a living as a sex worker on Florida's highways, and in 1989 she killed a man who had picked her up. She went on to kill at least five other men and was eventually caught, convicted and placed on death row. Though her sanity was questioned, Wuornos was executed by lethal injection in 2002. In addition to documentaries, books and an opera, her story was depicted in the 2003 film Monster. Serial killer David Berkowitz, born David Falco, was adopted by Nathan and Pearl Berkowitz when he was only a few days old. According to some reports, Berkowitz was an intelligent but troubled child growing up. He was close to his mother and he was deeply affected by her death when he was a teenager. During the mid-1970s, he created terror in the hearts of residents of New York City. He targeted single women and couples, taking the lives of six people and injuring several others. He was arrested on August 10, 1977, 11 days after his last murder, and was sentenced to 365 years in prison. He became known as the Son of Sam. Dennis Lynn Rader was born on March 9, 1945, in Pittsburgh, Kansas. From the 1970s to the 1990s, the BTK Killer, which stands for Bind, Torture and Kill, terrorized the Wichita, Kansas area. He committed his first murders in 1974, strangling four members of the Otero family in their home. Later that year he began seeking fame for his killings, writing letters and reporting his crimes. His final crime was in 1991, but he resurfaced in 2004 and again sought media attention. In 2005, he was finally caught and revealed to be Dennis Rader, a seemingly average married father of two. He pled guilty and was ordered to serve ten life sentences in prison. Richard Ramirez was born Ricardo Ramirez on February 29, 1960, in El Paso, Texas, the youngest of seven children born to Mercedes and Julian Ramirez, a Mexican railway worker. Known as Richard or Ricky, Ramirez had a troubled childhood and was heavily influenced by his older cousin, a Green Beret named Mike, who had recently returned from fighting in the Vietnam War. Mike told Ramirez fascinating stories about the torture and mutilation he had inflicted on several Vietnamese women, corroborating these stories with horrific Polaroid pictures. Following a four-year trial in 1989, Ramirez was convicted of 13 killings. He received the death penalty and was sent to San Quentin Prison in California. He died on June 7, 2013, at the age of 53. He was known as the Night Stalker. Infamous con artist and serial killer H. H. Holmes was born Herman Webster Mudgett on May 16, 1861, in Gilmanton, New Hampshire. Sometimes referred to as the Beast of Chicago, Holmes killed many of the city's inhabitants in his specially constructed home, which was later nicknamed the Murder Castle. He has also been linked to deaths in other parts of the United States and Canada. 
he was eventually captured and hanged in 1896. Eric Larson wrote about Holmes in the book The Devil in the White City, published in 2003. Serial killer Gary Leon Ridgway was born on February 18, 1949, in Salt Lake City, Utah. He held a job painting trucks for 30 years and was married three times. Ridgway's slayings began in 1982, when young runaways and prostitutes began disappearing from State Route 99 in South King County, Washington. He brought many of them to his home and strangled them, then left them in remote sites. The first few bodies turned up along the now notorious Green River. He was caught in 2001 when a DNA test revealed a match. Ridgway told investigators he killed as many as 75 to 80 women along Route 99. He was convicted and received multiple life sentences. Facing the prospect of execution, Ridgway made a deal with investigators to reveal where he'd hidden the bodies of several of the young women who'd never been found, while also agreeing to plead guilty to any future cases where his confession could be substantiated by evidence. He was sentenced to life in prison in December 2003 having committed more murders than any serial killer in U.S. history. Jeffrey Dahmer, an American serial killer and sex offender, was born on May 21, 1960. By most accounts, Dahmer had a normal childhood. However, he became withdrawn and found it hard to communicate as he got older. He began showing little to no interest in hobbies or social interaction around the ages of 10 to 15. Dead animals became an interest of his and he also started drinking heavily during his high school years. His drinking escalated and was a huge issue following high school. His father made him enlist in the army but he was kicked out due to alcoholism. Between the years of 1978 and 1991, Dharma murdered 17 males. Rape, dismemberment, necrophilia and cannibalism were involved in his murders. He was beaten to death on November 28, 1999 by an inmate at the Columbia Correctional Institution where he had been incarcerated. The Zodiac Killer was a serial killer who operated in Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The killer's identity remains unknown. The Zodiac murdered victims in and around the San Francisco area between December 1968 and October 1969. Four men and three women between the ages of 16 and 29 were targeted. The killer first used the name Zodiac in a series of taunting letters sent to the local Bay Area press. These letters included four cryptograms, or ciphers. Of the four cryptograms sent, only one has been definitely solved. Suspects have been named by law enforcement and amateur investigators, but no conclusive evidence has surfaced. The San Francisco Police Department marked the case inactive in April 2004, but reopened it at some point prior to March 2007. The case also remains open in Napa County and Solano County. The California Department of Justice has maintained an open case file on the Zodiac murderer since 1969. Born on March 17, 1942, in Chicago, Illinois, 
John Wayne Gacy faced an abusive childhood and conflict over his sexuality. Gacy worked as a fast food chain manager during the 1960s and became a self-made building contractor and Democratic precinct captain in the Chicago suburbs in the 1970s. Well liked in his community and a clown performer at children's parties, Gacy also organised cultural gatherings. He was married and divorced twice and had biological children and stepchildren. After being convicted of sexual assault in 1968, it was discovered that he had gone on to kill 33 young males, burying most under his home. He was found guilty in 1980 and given multiple death sentences and life sentences. He was executed by lethal injection on May 10th, 1999. Theodore Robert Bundy is an American serial killer and rapist and one of the most notorious killers of the 20th century. Bundy had a difficult childhood. He had a strained relationship with his stepfather and his shyness made him a frequent target of bullying. Later, however, his intelligence and social skills enabled him to enjoy a successful college career and he developed a series of apparently normal emotional relationships with women. Despite this apparent stability, he sexually assaulted and killed several young women in Washington, Oregon, Colorado, Utah and Florida between 1974 and 1978. Although he would ultimately confess to 28 murders, some estimated that he was responsible for hundreds of deaths. Following a well-publicised trial, he was sentenced to death in 1979 for the murder of two college students. In the following year, he again was sentenced to death, this time for the rape and murder of a 12-year-old girl. Bundy was executed in Florida's electric chair in 1989. Despite the appalling nature of his crimes, Bundy became something of a celebrity, particularly following his escape from custody in Colorado in 1977. During his trial, his charm and intelligence drew significant public attention. His case inspired a series of popular novels and films devoted to serial murder. It also galvanised feminist criminologists who contended that the popular media had transformed Bundy into a romantic figure. <laughs>